Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I was doing my makeup one day and I realized that I don't actually have a lot of drugstore makeup. And if it is drugstore makeup, it's not very like new and exciting. So I wanted to do a bit of drugstore makeup shopping and I did. Some of the makeup I will show you is brand new to the makeup world. I have makeup from Jason Wu Beauty, from the designer Jason Wu, and I believe it's available at Target, but I did actually order it online on the actual Jason Wu Beauty website. I also just went to a local drugstore and I just looked at a ton of stuff that I thought was interesting to me. It is all cruelty free. That's all I have to say about that. So make sure you subscribe, check out my other videos, and if you want to see all the stuff that I got at the drugstore, then just keep watching. I thought we should start with Jason Wu Beauty because it is the newest like drugstore makeup line. It's super cool, cruelty free, and it's very affordable. So I made a big purchase on the Jason Wu Beauty website. I got a ton of stuff. It all looks like so cool. This is literally how it came packaged from the website. This was also the cutest thing ever. This is like, whoa. A little info card about Jason Wu Beauty and they literally like hand write your name on the card. That's so cute. The first thing I got from Jason Wu Beauty is Jason the Freckled Boy. I've watched a few Jason Wu Beauty like tested videos and I saw someone use this and I was like, that looks really cool. I love doing fake freckles. I think the color looks really natural just on the back of my hand, but let me know if you would like to see a video of me testing out a bunch of the makeup that I ordered. I don't think they currently have like foundations or concealers, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will obviously test out all the stuff that I got. Next is The Bush. This is the Brow Shaper Soap. I've never tried brow soap before. I've heard nothing really beats just a regular bar of soap, but I thought that this would be kind of an interesting like dedicated product for that in actual like nice packaging. It's a vegan formula brow soap to groom and create natural fuller looking brows. There's a mist to activate the brow soap as well, but I'll probably just use a makeup setting spray and then see if that works well. The other thing I got is, actually I think I got two of the eyeshadow palettes. This is the Jason Wu Flora 9 Matte Agave Palette and the Desert Rose Palette. I think there's a third palette as well, but these colors just kind of spoke to me. Everything is also very compact, which is nice. It's gonna be easy to travel with whenever we can do that, but also just fitting in like your everyday makeup bag. I like that everything is very small and these colors are so pretty. I like the color of everything so far. It's very like muted nude tones. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like these. These are actually quite pigmented and they feel very like velvety, which is a really good sign so far. It's got a really nice, like blendable, soft texture. I just realized this, the Jason Wu beauty products are clean beauty approved. That's even cooler. They're also pleased to donate a portion of their sales to GMHC, Gay Men's Health Crisis. It's beauty with a cause. I love that. I got two lip liners. I was really looking for a nice nude everyday lip liner. I feel like it's really hard to find like a nude beigey brown that's good for lighter, like really fair skin because they always have like a super orangey or rosy undertone. This one, however, I did want a little bit of a rosy undertone. Ooh. This also has like a soft velvety texture. The color is really pretty. This one has like a peachy undertone to it. I have it in the shade My Angel. The other shade that I got is in Parisian Chic. Is that how you say it? I don't really know if you can see it, but this one is Parisian Chic, if I'm saying that right. And this one is My Angel. They're obviously two very different tones, but I'm super excited about this brown one. And I believe they all like coincide with their lip products or like the liquid lipsticks. So I got two of the liquid lipsticks. I don't even know if I ordered the like corresponding colors or not. The liquid or like cream lipsticks are called Honey Fluff and the little like lip slash cheek and eye sticks are called Hot Fluffs. And I actually got obviously a few of these too. In Honey Fluff, I got number seven and number eight. So I did get the corresponding colors for the lip pencils. The lip cream and the lip pencil are 
practically identical. So that's what the two of them look like for my angel. And this is the Hot Fluff Lip Cream in Parisian Chic. I really think I'm saying that wrong. Parisian. Parisian. Okay, I was definitely saying that wrong. Parisian Chic. I don't think these are supposed to dry down either. They're always going to have that kind of creamy, velvety texture. For the hot fluff shades that I got, I have number three, number five, and number six. These are, like I said before, products that you can use on your entire face, similar to the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. So you can use them as a lipstick, as a blush, or as an eyeshadow. I will probably use them mostly as lipstick and blush. This is in the color Cannoli, and it's this beautiful matte, like almost terracotta color. And they have the Jason Wu like logo, in, is it embossed on the actual product, which is really cool. It makes it look more like high end. This is gonna be such a pretty color for honestly the summer. Like I'm drawn to these terracotta orangey colors in the summer, but also the fall. I just love how they look with the tan. I'm gonna swatch all the colors first and then see how they blend out. This is called Eclair. This also is very similar to Cannoli, but it has more of a rosy undertone. And the last shade I got is number six. This is called Biscotti. This one I want, okay, oh my gosh, this is literally like what I was really hoping that it would look like. I wanted a more like flattering beige tone, and this is, this is it. I really, really love these. I feel like up close you can definitely see the different tones that each of these colors have. They are quite similar, they're in the same kind of color family, but I do really like each of them individually. Now I'm just gonna see how these actually blend out. They're a lot creamier than I actually anticipated, which is very nice actually. Okay, the last two things I got from Jason Wu Beauty are two brow products. This is the Micro Brow Pencil. I love really skinny eyebrow pencils. This one is in the shade 02 Medium. It seems like it'll be more of a taupey brown, which is usually what I do like to go for or something that is a bit more on the ashy or neutral side. This is a very waxy, like more of a hard formula, which I also appreciate because I hate when brow pencils are too creamy. And I really like this. You can get actual like brow stroke lines with this pencil because it's so tough, but it's also extremely skinny. Excuse my weird swatch here, but hopefully you can kind of get an idea. <laughs> the last thing I got from Jason Wu Beauty is free to brow. Brow mascara, I love clear brow mascara. I hardly ever like adding color when I'm setting my brows in place. This basically I got in case I don't like the brow soap. I can't really imagine myself not really liking it because I don't have extremely high standards when it comes to brow gel. Whatever just honestly does the job and makes them look more like groomed is all that I really look for. So there's not a whole lot I can say about this yet. It's just a clear brow gel. Well done, Jason Wu. Now moving on to some of the other things that I've got recently from the drugstore. I was looking to up my drugstore eyeshadow palette game, so I was on the hunt for some good ones. And I hope I like them because I bought five. The first one I was really intrigued with, mostly because of the packaging, I did not even open this to look at the actual eyeshadows, but this is a revolution, this is like makeup revolution, or revolution makeup, I don't really know what it is, but I just recently found out that they actually are like for sure cruelty free. So this is one of their really cute little eyeshadow palettes. They have a ton of eyeshadow palettes, but I was just really drawn to this one. You can see the colors on the front, they looked like my kind of colors. I really liked the tin packaging it comes in. It's like a soft matte texture. Ooh, these are so pretty. What is this eyeshadow palette even called? It's the Forever Dynamic Serenity eyeshadow palette. I think they have this in two or three color palettes. This one, this one. Okay, so I love the creamy shimmery shade. This brown one, I don't know if it's because I've been swatching on my hand already, but it is a little bit patchy. Do these two fingers look red? I think there might be a bit of like a red undertone to this brown here and it like dyed my fingers red. Maybe just make sure you're wearing like a primer or some sort of barrier underneath. 
or just avoid the, the brown shade. That's just a little weird. I had high hopes for this. I did get two eyeshadow palettes from Milani. I've heard great things about Milani eyeshadow. So I got this palette in the shade, well this is the most wanted eyeshadow palette in the shade Burning Desire. And this is the most wanted eyeshadow palette in the shade Partner in Crime. Let's swatch some of these colors. Ooh. The matte shades are slightly chalky, but they still blend quite nicely. Most of the time I find shimmery shades and drugstore palettes actually have a way better like texture, so that's not surprising. <sighs> I have little pieces from it everywhere. And for the most wanted eyeshadow palette in Partner in Crime, I will swatch the darker shades here. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I definitely like the orange tone ones better. I did get one more eyeshadow palette from Milani because I really wanted to try them out. This is the Gilded Nude Eyeshadow Palette. It has matte colors and shimmery colors, and it also has a really nice mirror. Let's swatch some colors from this Milani Gilded Nude Palette. I would say that's not bad. I think the matte shades in these eyeshadow palettes are usually quite dry, but the shimmery shades are so pretty. From Catrice, this is the Insta Bay eyeshadow palette. I think they have like five of these with all different color tones. This one is so pretty also. I really liked all of the shimmery shades in this one. They looked very rich. I feel like already I like the texture of this better than all of those Milani eyeshadow palettes, which is actually quite surprising. Oh yeah, these matte shades are way better. Ooh, I don't like that white shade. Here's what the Instabay eyeshadow palette from Catrice looks like swatched. I think that the pigment is actually way better than the Milani one, at least the other two. This one actually had pretty good pigment. Aside from one shade, this white shimmery shade here, in the palette is very hard to blend out evenly. I did pick up three more things from Catrice as well. I really like Catrice. I've tried out a lot of their products in the past too and I was a big fan of them. So I wanted to try out a few more things. I did end up getting a foundation from Catrice. This is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. And I also wanted to try their BB Cream. So this is 99% natural ingredients. It's vegan, non-comedogenic, and it says it has shea butter in it. I got my foundation in the shade Cool Cashmere and the Clean ID Hydro BB Cream in the shade Light. I love foundations that have a pump. That darkened up so quickly on my hand. I feel like I'm definitely going to need a lighter shade to mix with it and also it went way more pink tone than it originally looks when you first blend it out so also keep that in mind you might want to like go down a shade from what it looks like in the drugstore if that makes sense the bb cream feels super light like it would give very very light coverage which is what i would tend to go for on a daily basis anyways especially if i'm not filming so this is probably going to be really nice to just kind of quickly blend onto my face to even out my skin tone i definitely like this i like any product that's just going to give me like a touch of coverage so this is the powerful five liquid lip balm it says it has hyaluron in it which i don't know if that means like hyaluronic acid <laughs> Vitamin E, Shea Butter, Green Tea, and Goji Berry. I already had some lip gloss on, but I really like it. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Like, at all. Honestly, I love it. So that's everything that I recently got for drugstore makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see a actual like trying on of the Jason Wu Beauty products that I got. Give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments and I will definitely do one. And let me know if you'd like to see any more drugstore makeup tutorials. I would definitely love to do some of those in the future too. And I hope you're all having an awesome day. If not, I hope tomorrow is even better and I will see you in my next video. Bye.